y'all welcome back to yet another story time so i haven't started these yet but for a couple of years i was stripping in houston yeah i'm just gonna say dancing i don't like saying stripping but i was dancing in houston one of the main places that i danced at that i would like to talk about is v live it was a stressful night so first of all this wasn't a decision that i was just like yeah i want to go dance at v live let's go no, V Live is not my kind of club. Um, so it was a friend, a girl that I met at um, a gentleman's club that I was working at. And she offered for me to, you know, go work with her at this club. This club was different. The club is V Live, by the way. Like, uh, they have sweepers there. It's, it's a lot of hood people, hood music. It's one of those clubs that aren't open during the day. It opens at like 10 at night and stays open until five in the morning always shootouts always rappers and i knew this before i went still don't know why i went but i already knew i needed to bring a 50 dollars tip out and it was all going to depend on if i made that money i paid the tip out so i wasn't really familiar with how things worked fully i just know that you know if i'm in a section and i make that money they're going to sweep it up and give it to me by the end of the night i didn't know how unorganized v live was i've been at clubs like this i've been at the club where they have sweepers and you have to get your money at the end of the night but v live was just ridiculous i wish that i vlogged the whole fucking night i met i met her there at the front i paid my 50 dollars tip out i had to show my id to work um i think they let girls 16 and up work there there was a girl who left out of v live a few months ago i think i was six months pregnant at the time she left out of v live drunk nobody helped her and she ended up getting kidnapped and hit by a car and she passed rest in peace to her but it was so sad that a lot of attention was drawn to v live and still nothing happened they didn't close it down or anything so sad so um i went in paid my tip out she showed me the back there was nobody there it was really empty um we went to the back she showed me everything when we got to the locker room well first rewind when we passed through the lobby i was like this is ratchet as fuck the lobby was ratchet as fuck restrooms are right there in the front they were just it was just really bad so then walking through the front entrance and then you have your second uh like floor level it's just like two steps and then it's another floor level up and then in that front area, there's a pole. And if I had all these videos, I'd show y'all, but it got taken away with my Snapchat. So there's not even actually a bar. They buy liquor. They don't have a liquor license and they have somebody up there distributing the alcohol, but with paper cups, plastic cups, it's never an ATM there. So I passed that and then there's the DJ booth. There's the other stage on the back. Then there's more sections on the side to the right, sections on the side to the left. And then you have your major pole area and you have the um the ring the back is like the main area like if there's a rapper usually if there's a rapper that's the only time somebody's up there so it's like this the throne of the strip club and next to it is the door to the locker room go into the locker room it's pink dusty old there's a giant bird cage at the back of the locker room what is the bird cage for y'all the bird cage is for fighting. It don't have clothes in there. There's no shoes, old stuff, furniture. It's strictly for fighting. Whenever females want to fight, they go back there and they fight in there. And yes, it did happen when I was there. And they fight in there. And yes, it did happen when I was there. So I'm going to insert some videos and all you can really hear is the audio. And it was just some stuff that happened. A girl, two girls got into a fight because one of the girls was picking up money that supposedly wasn't hers but she was in that section already dancing and she had already gotten that money and then more females came so that's what i'm telling you don't, don't tell me that you know, i'm telling you i understand what happened but i'm telling you these are my people that's why i'm asking what happened before i called them Yeah. 
I noticed that when I was there, you know, I was with my friend, but she was moving around too fast. So I'd find myself alone sometimes. So I'd be dancing in a section and I see my money on the floor and here comes like three, four other females who obviously know each other and they're just dancing in the same section. And I'm like, okay, so how is this money going to get split up? Remember, I just moved because I was like, it's just not, it's not even like 20 to 30 ones on the floor. So fuck it. I'm going to move around. So I started doing my own thing. And then my friend told me she had uh, paid to get us put on stage. That's another thing. At this club, you don't, you're not instantly put on stage. You're not instantly put up for preview. You have to pay to get on the stage because if you get on the stage, you instantly make it money. So she paid for us to get on the stage and we danced two songs. I was really nervous just because I don't like the crowd. I, didn't, I, I guess I'm used to more, not sophisticated. A man can't really be sophisticated in a strip club. I'm just used to more calmer environments. Like they can play hype music, but at the end of the day, like it's still more calmer people, even though I know damn well I'm not a calm person. But it was just too hype. It was too ratchet. It was too hood and it was just too fucking much. They was just doing too much for me. So after we got off stage, uh, we made about $200 on stage. Um, they put it in a bag and put me and her name on it. And um, after that, you know, we, I was walking around and getting the feel of things. And I found out that if I wanted to leave before 6 a.m., that I would have to pay $100. But they had our money up until 6 a.m. So I wouldn't be able to get my money until 6 a.m. So I remember seeing females taking money to the back so they can put it in their bag, even though there was a rule that also said, you can't pick up your own money. Dancers can't pick up their own money. So fast forward by the end of the night, this is where females are fighting. Um, about where the money went our bags all got split separately I counted my money my friend counted her money it was a lot of fighting in the locker room that night and it lasted for about an hour And I left after that. So when I walked out, um, the DJ was like, I have to tip him out. The It was actually three DJs. I had to tip them out $30 each. And then two security guards. I had to tip out three sweepers. Uh, finding out later, I only had to tip out one sweeper because I, I only had one sweeper that was sweeping up my money. And then um, I had to tip out all the managers. So by the end of the time that I left, I made like $500. By the end of the time that I left, I left with about $45, $50. I was so fucking mad. So mad. Because I had just paid $50 to get in. I spent this whole night. I went through a lot, y'all. It was it was a lot of stuff that went on in between. A lot of stuff with the customers, with the females. You know, it was just a really unhealthy environment to be in. So uh, later on, I found out before I was leaving, I was waiting for my Uber. My friend was hanging out with who I thought was her boyfriend, but it was actually her pimp. And I look at him because I'm like, you look familiar. And I was like, what's your name? And he told me his name. And I was like, oh, Chris. And he's like, no, it's such and such now. I forgot what he said, but he was calling him. He was like, oh, shit, yeah, you look different and this and this and that much. I never would have thought you would have been a stripper. And I'm like, yeah, I never would have thought you would have been a pimp. And the girl that I was hanging out with, females who are getting pimped out, there's only one female who ever told me from the jump that she wanted to be pimped out. But other than that, females never off the rip just tell me like hey I'm getting pimped out and my pimp you know he raps at this club and he wants me to bring more girls and bring them home and this and this and that because then he started to ask if I wanted to go home with him I was like no I have you know dogs to get home to it was just really really weird but um yeah that was a place that I never went back to again and find you on that hole and didn't try to watch the bag and all that type of stuff the whole night it takes hours to do that shit. It takes a long time. 
So it, it, so you I, I, you should just ask him, say, hey, can you give me something since you lost my bag or whatever? But I can't make him do it. But I just know for, for future, you know what I'm saying, I try to make that, you know what I'm saying, either he probably won't be doing that, picking up the sweeping shit no more or whatever, but I'm going to have to talk to them later on because I don't know what happened to your bag. Like I said, I've been up here all the time. So you can't ask them nicely, hey, say, you responsible for my bag, can you at least give me something so I don't lose all my tip out? He's not inclined to do it, but that's the only thing you can do. And then, like I say, um, to, um, you used to be, what day you be working over here? She said she coming back yeah, the next so day. So you lost your bag, did you tip anybody else out back there? I don't have anything to tip. Yeah. So I, I, they, they can't say that because, like I said, you lost your bag or whatever. But it's really on them, so I, I feel like you should go ask him, can he throw you something? Because he the one lost your bag. The, the tall dude. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing a vlog on the rest of the clubs that I also uh, danced at. So y'all stay tuned for those. And I hope y'all enjoyed this um, vlog on VLive. Pretty much my summary intake on this is don't do it. VLive is not worth it unless you want to be in that environment and you're comfortable with it. That's you. I do not discriminate hood ratchetry behavior because it's in a lot of people. But um, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, y'all, and tune in for the next dancing vlog.